In astronomy, metallicity is used to describe the abundance of elements present in an object that are heavier than hydrogen or helium. Most of the physical matter in the universe is in the form of hydrogen and helium, so astronomers use the word «metals» as a convenient short term for «all elements except hydrogen and helium». This usage is distinct from the usual physical definition of a solid metal. For example, stars and nebulae with relatively high abundances of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and neon are called metal rich in astrophysical terms, even though those elements are non metals in chemistry. The presence of heavier elements hails from stellar nucleosynthesis, the theory that the majority of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium in the universe metals hereafter are formed in the cores of stars as they evolve. Over time, stellar winds and supernovae deposit the metals into the surrounding environment, enriching the interstellar medium and providing recycling materials for the birth of new stars. It follows that older generations of stars, which formed in the metal-poor early universe, generally have lower metallicities than those of younger generations, which formed in a more metal-rich universe. Observed changes in the chemical abundances of different types of stars, based on the spectral peculiarities that were later attributed to metallicity, led astronomer Walter Bard in 1944 to propose the existence of two different populations of stars. These became commonly known as Population I metal -rich and Population II metal -poor stars. A third stellar population was introduced in 1978, known as Population Three stars. These extremely metal-poor stars were theorized to have been the firstborn stars created in the universe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Common methods of calculation. Astronomers use several different methods to describe and approximate metal abundances, depending on the available tools and the object of interest. Some methods include determining the fraction of mass that is attributed to gas versus metals, or measuring the ratios of the number of atoms of two different elements as compared to the ratios found in the Sun. topic mass fraction stellar composition is often simply defined by the parameters x y and z here x is the mass fraction of hydrogen y is the mass fraction of helium and z is the mass fraction of all the remaining chemical elements thus x plus y plus z equals 1.00 display style x plus y plus z equals 1.00 in most stars nebulae h2 regions and other astronomical sources hydrogen and helium are the two dominant elements the hydrogen mass fraction is generally expressed as x m h M display style x equivalent m underscore text h m where m display style m is the total mass of the system and m h display style m underscore text h is the fractional mass of the hydrogen it contains. Similarly, the helium mass fraction is denoted as y m he m display style y equivalent m underscore text he m. The remainder of the elements are collectively referred to as metals, and the metallicity, the mass fraction of elements heavier than helium, can be calculated as Z 
equals I greater than he M I M equals one minus X minus Y Display style z equals sum underscore i greater than text he frac m underscore i m equals one x y. For the surface of the sun, these parameters are measured to have the following values. Due to the effects of stellar evolution, neither the initial composition nor the present-day bulk composition of the sun is the same as its present-day surface composition. topic chemical abundance ratios the overall stellar metallicity is often defined using the total iron content of the star as iron is among the easiest to measure with spectral observations in the visible spectrum even though oxygen is the most abundant heavy element see metallicities in hii regions below the abundance ratio is defined as the logarithm of the ratio of a star's iron abundance compared to that of the sun and is expressed thus Fe H equals log 10 n Fe n H star minus log 10 n fe n h sun display style text fe text h equals log underscore 10 left frac n underscore text fe n underscore text h right underscore text star log underscore 10 left frac n underscore text fe n underscore text h right underscore text sun where n fe Display style n underscore text fe and n h display style n underscore text h are the number of iron and hydrogen atoms per unit of volume, respectively. The unit often used for metallicity is the dex, contraction of decimal exponent. By this formulation, stars with a higher metallicity than the Sun have a positive logarithmic value, whereas those with a lower metallicity than the Sun have a negative value. For example, stars with a Fe H value of plus 1 have 10 times the metallicity of the Sun 101. conversely, those with a Fe H value of minus 1 have 1 tenth, while those with a Fe H value of 0 have the same metallicity as the Sun, and so on. Young population I stars have significantly higher iron to hydrogen ratios than older population II stars. Primordial population 3 stars are estimated to have a metallicity of less than 6.0, that is, less than a millionth of the abundance of iron in the Sun. The same notation is used to express variations in abundances between other the individual elements as compared to solar proportions. For example, the notation O, Fe represents the difference in the logarithm of the star's oxygen abundance versus its iron content compared to that of the Sun. In general, a given stellar nucleosynthetic process alters the proportions of only a few elements or isotopes, so a star or gas sample with non-zero values may be showing the signature of particular nuclear processes. Topic: Photometric colors. Astronomers can estimate metallicities through measured and calibrated systems that correlate photometric measurements and spectroscopic measurements. See also spectrophotometry. 
For example, the Johnson UVB filters can be used to detect an ultraviolet UV excess in stars, where a larger UV excess indicates a larger presence of metals that absorb the UV radiation, thereby making the star appear redder. The UV excess, delta U -B, is defined as the difference between a star's U and B band magnitudes, compared to the difference between U and B band magnitudes of metal-rich stars in the Hyades cluster. Unfortunately, delta U -B is sensitive to both metallicity and temperature. If two stars are equally metal rich, but one is cooler than the other, they will likely have different delta U -B values. See also blanketing effect. To help mitigate this degeneracy, a star's B V color can be used as an indicator for temperature. Furthermore, the UV excess and B V color can be corrected to relate the delta U B value to iron abundances. Other photometric systems that can be used to determine metallicities of certain astrophysical objects include the Street OM Gren system, the Geneva system, the Washington system, and the DDO system. Metallicities in various astrophysical objects Stars Relationship between stellar metallicity and planets A star's metallicity measurement is one parameter that helps determine whether a star has planets and the type of planets, as there is a direct correlation between metallicity and the type of planets a star may have. Measurements have demonstrated the connection between a star's metallicity and gas giant planets, like Jupiter and Saturn. The more metals in a star and thus its planetary system and proplid, the more likely the system may have gas giant planets and rocky planets. Current models show that the metallicity along with the correct planetary system temperature and distance from the star are key to planet and planetesimal formation. For two stars that have equal age and mass but different metallicity, the less metallic star is bluer. Among stars of the same color, less metallic stars emit more ultraviolet radiation. The Sun, with eight planets and five known dwarf planets, is used as the reference, with a Fe H of 0 0.00. <laughs> HII regions Young, massive and hot stars typically of spectral types O and B in H2 regions emit UV photons that ionize ground state hydrogen atoms, knocking electrons and protons free, this process is known as photoionization. The free electrons can strike other atoms nearby, exciting bound metallic electrons into a metastable state, which eventually decay back into a ground state, emitting photons with energies that correspond to forbidden lines. Through these transitions, astronomers have developed several observational methods to estimate metal abundances in HII regions, where the stronger the forbidden lines in spectroscopic observations, the higher the metallicity. These methods are dependent on one or more of the following, the variety of asymmetrical densities inside HII regions, the varied temperatures of the embedded stars, and or the electron density within the ionized region. Theoretically, to determine the total abundance of a single element in an HII region, all transition lines should be observed and summed. However, this can be observationally difficult due to variation in line strength. Some of the most common forbidden lines used to determine metal abundances in HII regions are from oxygen, e.g. O2 lambda. Topic: 
3727 7318 7324 and 03 lambda 4363 4959 5007 a nitrogen eg nii lambda equals 5755 6548 6584 a and sulfur eg SII lambda equals 6717 6731 are an SIII lambda topic 6312 9069 9531 are in the optical spectrum and the OIII lambda 5288 mu m and niii lambda equals 57 micrometers lines in the infrared spectrum. Oxygen has some of the stronger, more abundant lines in HII regions, making it a main target for metallicity estimates within these objects. To calculate metal abundances in HII regions using oxygen flux measurements, astronomers often use the R23 method, in which R23 equals O2 3727 A plus O3 Four thousand nine hundred and fifty nine a plus five thousand and seven a h beta display style r underscore twenty three equals frac text o two underscore three thousand seven hundred and twenty seven tilde mathrm double a plus text o three underscore four thousand nine hundred and fifty nine tilde mathrm double a plus five oh oh seven tilde mathrm double a text h underscore beta where o three Three thousand seven hundred and twenty seven a plus O three four thousand nine hundred and fifty nine a plus five thousand and seven a Display style text O three underscore three thousand seven hundred and twenty seven tilde mathrm double A plus text O three underscore four thousand nine hundred and fifty nine tilde mathrm double A plus five oh oh seven tilde mathrm double A is the sum of the fluxes from oxygen emission lines measured at the rest frame lambda. Topic three thousand seven hundred and twenty seven, four thousand nine hundred and fifty nine and five thousand and seven a wavelengths divided by the flux from the H beta emission line at the rest frame lambda four thousand eight hundred and sixty one a wavelength. This ratio is well defined through models and observational studies, but caution should be taken, as the ratio is often degenerate, providing both a low and high metallicity solution, which can be broken with additional line measurements. Similarly, other strong forbidden line ratios can be used, e.g. for sulfur, where S 23 equals S2 Six thousand seven hundred and sixteen a plus six thousand seven hundred and thirty one a plus S three nine thousand and sixty nine a plus nine thousand five hundred and thirty two a h beta 
Display style S underscore twenty three equals frac text S two underscore six thousand seven hundred and sixteen tilde mathram double A plus six seven three one tilde mathram double A plus text S three underscore nine thousand and sixty nine tilde mathram double A plus nine five three two tilde mathram double A text H underscore beta Metal abundances within HII regions are typically less than 1%, with the percentage decreasing on average with distance from the galactic center. See also <laughs> 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 <laughs>